I think we're due for a build challenge in The Sims 4. There's this build challenge floating around where every room is a different pack, but you can't use that pack. I have every pack in The Sims 4 written on this wheel, including kits, and look how many there are. We're gonna need two wheels soon. And for every room we build today, including the outside, we're gonna spin this wheel, and whatever pack we land on, we cannot use, but that room must match that pack's aesthetic. Does that make sense? You guys are smart, we'll figure it out. Also, I'm pretty sure Sarah Kendall was the one who did this first. But anyway, let's spin the wheel and see what we're gonna get, and we get seasons. Ooh. So The Sims 4 Seasons doesn't actually have a world, but if it did, I'm thinking it would probably be like Brindleton Bay. I'm thinking if we build over here by the waterfall, that could work out really nicely. Just so you have an idea of what Seasons Build and Buy actually looks like, this is the buy menu. It's very woodsy. It gives warm, cozy, family home kind of vibes. We have seasonal activities like the bee box. And then of course we have all of the holiday decor. There's lots of like wall decor decorations and things like that. And for the outside, we've got like paneling. We have a half and half stone paneling and we have some wall decor features, some stairs, a fence and a matching railing. We also have a pretty decent windows and doors selection. And I feel like a lot of it is inspired by a craftsman style home. So we're gonna aim for that today. This kind of craftsman style rules Sims YouTube at one point. I feel like around the time that I started, like every build video was the Craftsman style house, which makes sense. We also had cats and dogs come out a little bit before seasons and that was also a very Craftsman style pack. So our roofing is gonna play a big part in this. We're gonna add a gabled piece right here. And you're probably wondering why I have two big sticks on my roof. Those are gonna act as window bump out. So I'm basically gonna pull this roofing piece all along and raise it all the way up. And then we'll go in with a another gabled roof piece. We're gonna pull that to the back and then I'm gonna lower it so it's hiding in that other roof piece. And then you can kind of see where that's going. We'll add windows on there. I'm doing basically the same concept over here, just hiding it in the roofing. And then over to this side, this is going to be a greenhouse. The Sims 4 Seasons comes with flower arranging, but since we can't really focus on that, I do wanna add like a gardening element. The greenhouse kit has the perfect roofing for this. And for the rest of it, we're just going to go black roof paint. So so far, this is what we got. And now for wallpaper, I really love this green paneling from Seasons. So I wanna find something similar to that. We do have this lighter green one here from Horse Ranch or hear me out here, spooky stuff. I think we're gonna go spooky stuff for our main wallpaper, but then to match this stone, I feel like this one from Horse Ranch could work out really well. Seasons also has these really nice columns here with the stone at the bottom, which honestly, I feel like Horse Ranch is just like the modern, better textured version of that. So we're gonna use this here and I'm gonna build out a little bit of a front entry area. We'll raise it up on a foundation. And instead of that season's fence there, I'm gonna use this one from Growing Together, which actually says Craftsperson. They also actually have very similar names. I'm using a base game fence to build this out a little bit here. We'll draw some lines going down the middle, delete the flooring. And this is the season's trim. I think instead I'm probably gonna stick with Growing Together. Growing Together together seems to be like the modern craftsman style pack. And for the season's foundation, I think instead I'm gonna use horse ranch. And now for these windows. I think we can match these almost exactly with the ones from horse ranch, which again, just looks like a more modern <laughs> version of that. And with these long ones, we can just put them together to create like a three tiled window. We've got some variation. We can bring that up top. And for the greenhouse over here, I'm just gonna stick with the regular like greenhouse kit windows. And then for for these top ones up here, I was thinking, what if we did something different with these from Cats and Dogs? For my door, I'm using this one from Horse Ranch. Unfortunately, Seasons does not come with any flooring, but if it did, it would definitely be a wood of some kind. I'm just gonna keep it consistent with the Horse Ranch wood. In the back here, I wanna make a deck leading out to the backyard, and I think this is where I'm gonna actually change my foundation. I wanna do more of a stilt foundation here. I've got like a little deck coming out the side, and I feel like that would be really cute if we had it going over over a little pond. I can change the foundation on the greenhouse too, so it's gonna be up on stilts. Then we add the water, and how cute is that? We can even add the fishing thing, like one of these right here, so your sims could actually fish in the pond. And one thing that really makes a craftsman house 
gross what it is are the corbels. So I think because we have growing together elements, we're gonna stick with these ones. And I like almost always shrink them. I feel like they're way too big, but we're basically putting a couple of these on any roofing points. For my landscaping, I'm adding these stones here from Debug. And I know that we're like past the point of caring about this, honestly, but if seasons did come with a world, I think it would have been the most beautiful thing ever. Like how I personally would have done it is like the world is split into four different sections. And then every neighborhood in like whatever section would be inspired by a different season. And then like each one has different festivals for each season. I just think it would have been really cool. But like I said, these days we've got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> As one final thing here, I'm adding platforms leading up to my greenhouse. This is not gonna be functional. It's just going to be like decor. I'm gonna add some foundation paint on them, maybe some stone leading up and some trim on there too. Maybe I can replace these windows with a door and we'll have some stairs over here. But yeah, again, this is just for decor. We'll add another door leading in like in the actual house. But I think with some landscaping around this, this is gonna work out. So this is what our season inspired house turned out like. We used nothing from the actual pack, but I feel like it kind of captures the aesthetic anyway. For landscaping, I wanted to add a little bit of color in there. So I've got some trees representing fall and spring. I also added some pine trees going along the back. And I think I'm actually building in summer in my game right now, which is why everything is in full bloom. I also added a couple of the fairy lights there from the holiday pack because in seasons you can decorate your house with like Christmas lights. So we've got those going on there. I probably would have decorated it a little more for the holidays. But right now when I'm filming this, Christmas had just passed. And to be honest, I'm a little bit over it. But back here, I did add the beetle box to kind of mimic the bee box. We have a really cute swing set back here. We have a fire pit with some outdoor retreat chairs. I added a barbecue and of course we've got some areas to garden. So I think this turned out looking so cute and now we're ready to go inside and we actually have a decent amount of space in here today. Upstairs we can do three bedrooms and a bathroom and downstairs we have our main entry here, the greenhouse to the left. I'm gonna do a formal dining room in the back and then kitchen and living room are gonna be separated like this right here. So I think we're gonna start off with the entryway. Let's go ahead and spin to see what we're gonna get for that and we get romantic garden. Why couldn't we have gotten that for the greenhouse? This is gonna be hard. Romantic garden is obviously like a landscaping pack. It comes with tons of florals, a lot of stone furniture. There's no flooring or wallpaper or anything like that, but obviously this is the landscaping that we get with that pack. I thought this was gonna be a normal house. Okay, well, if we did get flooring, I feel like it would be maybe something like this. Definitely a stone, but I could also see it being something like this with cottage living. We've got the floral, the stone. I think we gotta use this. Part of me wants to go like stone unfinished all the way around. Every time I use this wallpaper, by the way, people are like, you forgot the wallpaper, but Desert Lux just has this unfinished one. And then maybe to make this actually make sense, I'm gonna replace my doors. We're gonna use these instead. So they're like fully open. And then this here will be a better actual door, maybe like just a barn door or something. I don't know. Okay. In terms of other stone furniture, we do have some of these benches here from Get Together and we have some stone seating from Outdoor Retreat. And maybe to mimic this item, we can use these here meant for the outside, but it is what it is here today. This is also from Get Together. And there's also these leaves here, which maybe I can try and like have these plants make their way into that. So we'll have kind of full planty walls. Maybe this needs to be more colorful. Oh, we could add some of the snowy escape rugs, some hanging plants here, maybe with some My Wedding Stories decor. I think these barrels are perfect for this. I'm also looking for a stone statue that's gonna match one of these ones. Wait, this lady here from Vampires? But we make her less scary. Okay, I'm gonna add her in here. <laughs> She's gonna be under the stairs, kind of. How can I add like flowers to her without showing the vase? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> we could have them coming out of her head. This one really only has like the back get up there and down here. So maybe we won't do that. Okay, I'm just gonna use some of these base game flowers and put them around the bottom of the statue. And Romantic Garden does have a very cute fountain, which I would love to put one in here if there was one small enough. I mean, maybe that. As long as Sims could actually walk around that. And then again, we just kind of fill some flowers in there. Like it definitely looks cute. Let's make sure we can get around it. Oh, it actually looks super pretty in live mode. Sims can get around that no problem. It actually took up less room than I thought. Perfect. Okay, 
so here is our romantic garden stuff inspired foyer. Next, I think we gotta do the greenhouse. All right, spinning for the greenhouse. This could be weird. Pastel pop, interesting. So these are the items that come with the pastel pop kit. It's obviously very colorful. We've got like very trendy, like unique styles of furniture. Not a single plant though. The florals here are felt. For flooring, we've got a carpet. And for wallpaper, it's again, very colorful and fruity. Am I gonna have to put carpet in my greenhouse? This is like the worst idea ever. Everything is backwards. For wallpaper, I guess we could do this here from Cottage Living. And where is a table that looks like that? I mean, we have this base game one. And then what can I find that looks like this specific plant? The pastel pop kit is like one of my favorites, but it's so specific. I could see this matching here from Cats and Dogs. So I'm gonna use a couple of those and maybe we'll just do anything else pastel that I can find. Like these kind of match those. Maybe instead of all carpet, I'll do like a pink rug and some hardwood because the carpet in here is absurd. Or we could try and match like the cracker rug from Pastel Pop. I think high school years has something similar. Like, okay, maybe not completely similar, but they do have eggs and toast. Eggs, toast, and crackers seem like they could be of the same family somehow. And then Pastel Pop also has this really big, like pretty bookshelf, which I feel like our version here could be this Blooming Rooms kit one. It kind of has like the same textures. I changed my flooring again to the country kitchen tile and I feel like that matches more. I also changed this here to the pastel wallpaper from For Rent. Oh, we can totally add hanging plants from Nifty Knitting. These are like all pastel. Okay, so I mean the egg rugs, super random, but everything in here is super pastel, all the flowers. I feel like the Nifty Knitting plants really brought this together, like even that hanging plant on the wall. I'm also adding a knitting basket because this is now a knitted greenhouse. And so far this is cohesive somehow, but we still have like the whole rest of the house to do. So let's go back to the wheel. I think next we're gonna do a dining room. So let's see vampires. Okay, vampires is a very dark kind of pack. A lot of like Victorian Gothic kind of furniture. We've got a ton of spider webs and like weird wall decals. We have more stone sculptures. Yeah, just a very gothic Victorian kind of pack. For flooring, we do have a nice hardwood and we have this, which I think I could match with paranormal. And wallpaper is super detailed. Like it is patterned. There are a bunch of different swatches in here though. So like we could have some variety and specifically for tables, like this is the kind of thing we're looking at. Chairs look like this. So like I said, paranormal flooring is gonna be the best match here. For wallpaper, I mean, maybe like Realm of Magic. I actually really like this swatch and I never get to use it. So maybe we'll try this. Then for my table, I mean, this base game one could kind of match. I think we can definitely go with the base game one. And then these are the vampire chairs. Let me see. I really want to match this one. Like nothing quite looks like vampire's furniture. My first thought was get together. The only one I could possibly see just in terms of like the uniqueness of the chair could be Realm of Magic. Okay, I'm doing Realm of Magic. Vampires has this beautiful chandelier or get together has one actually that might match the smaller chandelier a little better. So we'll add that in there. We also have these candlesticks, which I think get together has one of those too. Yeah, this will work. And for vampires rugs, I actually feel like werewolves could match. Ironic, I know. Or maybe actually growing together just because I need something to be a little bigger. Like we could try that. Vampires also has a really nice grandfather clock. I think we could get away with this one from base game. And for vampires pictures, I know get together is gonna match. Like specifically these ones. So I'm gonna add a big picture over here. Maybe another big one over to this side. And to match the curtains, I really don't wanna have to use get famous, but I think we have to. This is so interesting seeing like which packs kind of go together properly. And more importantly, which ones are not as unique as some other ones. I don't really have the room to add anything else in here, but this does look very cool. Not at all the kind of dining room I thought we would have, but I could definitely see a vampire living here. So now that we know it's a vampire family living here, it makes sense that we've got this greenhouse and all of the planty decor going on in here because maybe before they turned, they were a florist or a gardener and they can't really go outside as much anymore. So now instead, all of the plants she owns are knitted. And this is pretty much as close as she can get to the outside in the daytime without burning. And no, the windows and doors being open will not harm her. Okay, next up, we're gonna do 
do the kitchen, which is going to be separated in the middle here. And for the kitchen, we're going to do eco lifestyle. Okay, this is good. This is gonna work with our storyline. The problem though, is that eco lifestyle doesn't really have any kitchen stuff at all. So I don't really have much to go off of. I feel like I shouldn't go mixing my flooring. So I'm gonna take this out to about there and maybe I can do like a half wall dividing the room. Let's at least start with wallpaper. So eco lifestyle wallpaper, we have this one, which I feel like might be easiest to match because fitness stuff has one that's very similar. What would eco lifestyle counters look like? As a whole, eco lifestyle has a very modern catalog. Like a lot of the furniture is very modern looking and a lot of it is very natural. So like natural textures, it's a recycling pack. So it's made to be like maybe items with recycled wood. There's also a lot of planty and like nature decor. I'm still not over the fact that this isn't functional, but that's beside the point. So going off of that, if Eco Lifestyle had a fridge, I feel like it would maybe look like this one from Snowy Escape or this one from Cottage Living. Maybe for my counters, I could try these ones from Island Living. For lighting, we've got this one here from Eco Lifestyle, which I feel like could match with this from the Desert Lux kit. Oh no, Island Living doesn't have cabinets. Neither does Eco Lifestyle. I am completely on my own here. I think I'm changing everything. I'm using Home Chef Hustle counters instead. And I'm gonna go in with this Blooming Rooms kit shelf. This is totally giving eco lifestyle to me. For lighting, we have these weird like hexagon lights or these leaf ones, which base game has this here with the stars on it or get together has these other weird shape ones. So maybe we bring these over and do something funky like over the shelf, just like connect them in a way that looks geometric with it, you know? I don't have any bar stools either to go off of, but I feel like I could do probably these ones from Desert Lux. Eco lifestyle does have this kind of rug or there's this one, which this is the kind of color I was trying to match the counters to. Oh yeah, or they also have this little green patch of grass. I forgot about that. We could have used that in here. So maybe just to keep it consistent, I'll bring some of the rocks in here. And for the plants, I do like the idea of this one because it looks like maybe we've recycled that jar. Going along the same idea with these here from werewolves, although I have to be careful with my spacing. Maybe we get rid of one island piece. I'm gonna use the high school years trash can. Eco Lifestyle has these curtains, which look very similar to these ones from Seasons. Oh, and maybe to match these Eco Lifestyle paintings, we could use these ones from Base Game. I'm doing another little pattern over here with these lights. This one was definitely the most difficult out of all of them so far, especially given the fact that I had nothing to go off of. But I feel like we matched the color scheme pretty well. We've got some texture going on in here. I'm not a big fan of these plants in the corner, but the fact that they're in the pots, it's giving recycling. I definitely think this would have been a lot easier for like a living room, for example. And speaking of which, let's see where this living room is gonna take us. Okay, spinning for the living room, we're going to do perfect patio. Why is everything outdoor related? This is what we get with perfect patio. Some hedges, some wooden wall decor, some outdoor couches, a hot tub. Like how am I gonna make a living room out of this? No flooring, no wallpaper. Oh God, okay. The only thing that makes sense in my eyes is if we go with the vampire story who loved the outdoors before they changed. So now they're trying to make their house inside look as much like the outside as possible. So I need couches and chairs that are gonna match this sort of vibe. You know what we could do is bring in eco lifestyle since technically this is gonna be a different room. No, I think it has to be seasons. Oh God, okay. So we'll do my couch here, the love seat over here and my chairs. I think they have a coffee table. Yeah, we have a glass coffee table here, which like should be easy enough to match. I think I'm gonna try the get to work one. We have no rugs, but if they did, I feel like it would look like maybe this here from base game. I kind of want to change my flooring. Like we could do any hardwood because the vampires one looks like this. And this might all look a little better if it was a little lighter. That totally helps. And it still matches in my kitchen and dining. This stuff pack has like nothing in it. Maybe I can match these shrub things and like this plant to this base game plant. Am I about to put a hot tub in my living room? I think I might. When you think of perfect patio, you think of hot tub. I know it's weird, okay? I don't really have a choice and I also don't really care. You get into your hot tub this way, so like Sims are still gonna have room. And I know there's gonna be those of you who are like, a hot tub in your living room, that's crazy. But just tell me your Sims are not gonna have a ball with that. I'm using those eco lifestyle things there to mimic this item from perfect patio. Oh, backyard stuff. Okay, I'm using this end table here from backyard stuff. Honestly, I feel like these two could have been combined 
into one pack. I'm gonna add an actual living room item like a TV. Maybe I'll just keep it consistent with the same curtains I used over there. And back here, I'm using this plant decor from Eagle Lifestyle. I'm gonna add a speaker from Spot A. And Perfect Patio has these lanterns. So I'm gonna instead add these ones here from Backyard Stuff and these ones from My Wedding Stories. I'm also gonna add some Little Camper's lights just to give that like outdoorsy kind of vibe. And there we go. Did I think when we were building the outside that we were gonna end up with a hot tub out here? No, but it is still very cozy in this living room somehow. It's definitely giving backyard. Like this could easily be someone's backyard for sure, but somehow it works together. Okay, let's go upstairs. I'm gonna bring the wallpaper and everything up to the hallway. And I think we should get one of these bedrooms out of the way. Okay, spinning for our first bedroom and we get Modern Lux. We can do this easy. Modern Lux is a very fancy looking kit. We have the record player. We've got some really pretty artwork and luckily for us, it is a bedroom kit. We also have flooring and wallpaper, which is again, very fancy. So let me first find something to match that tile. We could try the decor to the max kit or we could do marble. Like this one from Get Famous, kind of going along the fanciness. And the wallpaper, I feel like we could get away with vintage glamour. A lot of people compare vintage glamour and modern lux just because they're both very bedroom focused. And there are definitely some similarities. Like I think we could use this desk from Vintage Glamour or even one of the vanities. And then for the bed, the modern Lux bed is so nice. It looks so comfy. I feel like we could maybe match it to Dream Home Decorator or Seasons, but Seasons doesn't give that Lux vibe. We could also try High School Years. I feel like that headboard is a little bit more Lux than some of the other ones. Modern Lux has this circle rug, which we can easily use this one here from High School Years. And then for the Modern Lux tables, I mean, Vintage Glamour has this one. We could maybe also use High School Years. This is the Modern Lux dresser, which I think, again, I'm probably gonna go with High School Years. I'm gonna use a Vintage Glamour lamp, also with this here. And Modern Lux has this mirror that kind of goes against the wall. So I think I'm going to use the one from Jungle Adventure. Ah, oh, the Modern Lux pictures are just too good. We could also maybe even use these pictures from Eco Lifestyle and just like put them against the wall, but, and it does match our pastel theme downstairs. So maybe the parent living here is the pastel vampire. I think for the other bedrooms, I'm gonna open them up because that one was a little smaller than I would have liked. So this is gonna be one bedroom and we have a bathroom left, which I'm actually going to extend the bathroom all the way over like that. Okay, let's go see what we're doing for that bathroom. Spitting for the bathroom and we get Courtyard Oasis. Courtyard Oasis is another one that's kind of meant to be an outdoor kit. There are not a lot of items with Courtyard Oasis, but it's very much like an exterior build kit. We have fences, stairs, doors, archways, and windows. This is one of the wallpapers that comes with it, and it is very bathroom-y. And this is the tile that we have, so let's try and match this first. We could totally get away with Jungle Adventure. Ooh, flooring could actually be for rent. That could work out nicely. Obviously, we don't have any showers or anything to go off of, but I feel like I can still do Jungle Adventure. We'll just do a regular old toilet, but next to it, Courtyard Oasis has these really beautiful jars that I like to use. So if I could find a jar and like put a plant in it. Oh wait, Jungle Adventure actually has jars. Oh, this is gonna work. I'm gonna shrink these and put them next to the toilet. Just make sure you don't mistake one of those for the toilet. And then I wanna put like a dream home decorator plant in one of them or something. Like that looks cool. We'll get our toilet paper, a bath mat. Oh, we could use the for rent towel thing. I would love to get a bathtub in here. Like maybe if I could fit one right here. I don't know if it's gonna work. Actually, maybe this isn't actually a functional item. So towel can go on the corner, sink could go here. I think I'm gonna use the one from For Rent. Courtyard Oasis doesn't have any wall decor. I really need a picture right here. Oh wait, this picture is perfect. It's a little bigger than I needed, so I'm gonna shrink it. Maybe we put like a shelf underneath. And Courtyard Oasis has these beautiful lantern lights, which are not quite like anything else really. So I've just added those as my lighting and this is a very interesting bathroom. There's so much happening in here, all of the patterns. Either I am getting all difficult packs here or this challenge is a lot harder than I thought. But okay, let's move on. We're gonna do one more bedroom. So spinning for the final time and we're going to do Little Campers, another outdoor kit. Little Campers has actually become one of my favorite kits. It's like a backyard camping kind of thing. No flooring, no wallpaper. How are we gonna do this? Okay, well, 
well it has to be a kid room this is the bed that comes with it it's like a cot which is very similar to this one from base game unfortunately i think i'm gonna add a couple of these i'm gonna just do wood flooring we'll go with the blue and like do a dark blue but i'm gonna add some horse ranch nighttime ceiling paint it's gonna be very difficult to see in here but there are constellations up there so it's gonna be like they're laying under the stars so keeping with the theme i guess this is going to be a very outdoorsy inspired bedroom we're gonna add the little star lights from parenthood oh we could do the base game star string lights maybe i'll put those along the top little campers has this cardboard crafting table and this cardboard dollhouse a lot of it is like diy inspired so we're of course going to do the cardboard dollhouse from eco lifestyle they also have like these animal chairs which have fun little creatures and animals on them so we can use the base game bear chair they have this really cute like quilt oh horse ranch could kind of work and then i was thinking sleeping bags would be perfect in here i know horse ranch has a few of them like this one there are space llamas on there there is this massive play tent which i definitely don't have room for in here but i could put it right outside the door and there is a space theme and just because i need a dresser i'm gonna add some hanging clothes over here from dream home decorator so here's our little campers inspired kids room i feel like it looks fun in here i love the fact that they can lay under the stars i don't know why every pack had to be an outdoor one in this build it feels like but i do think it ended up being interesting that's for sure so i hope you guys enjoyed this super weird build challenge in the sims 4 today let me know any video ideas you guys want to see in the comment section down below and let me know which room was your favorite today if you guys like the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one